Hello fellow walkers, here we are again for another Xenica Rising draft. So today it will be a short day but we'll, we'll do a draft end to end and as usual we'll go through all the picks, all the strategy, I'll explain as best as I can all the thought process behind the decisions that I, that I, that I make and yeah and let's learn together so if you don't know me I'm Diogo and um, you can find me um, and I'm, I'm on this journey to, to learn uh, magic, to, to, to improve as a magic player as well as uh, improve as a, as a person, right? Um, so if you want to join me on this journey, if you want to get in touch, whatever, uh, and watching this live you can find some links on my on my about section on Twitch and if you're watching this offline on YouTube you also have those links on the description below. Um, so yeah without further ado since today it will be a fast day let us start and um, and yeah let us um, do just one or two matches best of one matches standard because I'm kind of practicing a new deck and um, and yeah, after that we'll start right away with the with the draft itself. Okay, so let's do it. Okay, okay, okay. So here we are. Let us play. So basically, let me just show you the deck first. I'm just playing one of the standard decks that um, that, that have, has performed quite well recently and this deck actually um, was the one used by by Paulo Vitor Dama da Rosa in the last Zendika Rising Championship and yeah essentially I'm just using this kind this sort of decks to also learn my way into into the um, uh, into the formats, into the constructed formats, because I'm used to, to limited mostly. Hey J Willow, welcome man, welcome. <laughs> New layout, yeah. I've been working on a few things, but uh, it, it's it's cool to, to recognize. Now you can even try uh, emojis and, and stuff like that. I did two changes, one of was emojis. Oh yeah, and the follow train is also improved yeah I, I i did i did a few things but yeah either way um i i made like three or four matches with this deck already so let's just jump right into a best of one so uh, i typically don't don't like that much to play best of one but it's still useful to learn um the strategy behind the deck right um it's really helpful Oh yeah, because now I'll do this. Uh, it's all planned, Jay Willow. Let let me check, and please confirm if if it looks fine for you. <laughs> uh, so this end, we actually have four lands. Um, we don't have that much early game, but we have some disruption. Even though all these cards actually depend on having cards on my opponent's graveyard and I don't have a way to, to make that happen. Hey party Ziki, welcome, welcome to the to my plane I guess. <laughs> How are you doing? How are you guys doing? Nice. So uh, J Willow that, that was like the intermission window I guess while while I'm not playing. Sometimes I do forget um forget to change so but well Okay, so this end is more like it. I'm inclined to to um, to put up an artless act uh, back, most likely, or not. Actually, this enables me to curve out quite well, and the soaring thought thieves, if unanswered, can be quite good. <laughs> cool, cool, cool. So let me just try, for example, where is it, where is it, emojis, trying to look for the, okay. 
So, is it working? It is. There he goes, Bob Ross. Now I can have Bob, Bob Ross not only represented by my lens, but also... Um, <laughs> but I also on the screen. <laughs> okay, either way, I, I'm getting ahead of myself. Now I want to play this. So actually I could have uh, put back the Murfolk Queen Robber and make my ensure my land drops. Um, because Fable Passage will... Okay, that, that's also a tapped land, so actually I'm... Um, if I've put Artless Act, I would play Fable Passage turn 1, then the Clear Water or whatever pathway, and I could curve into Soaring Thought If. Given that I didn't do that, I can. I need to, to plan accordingly now. So, an attack it is. <laughs> All should work, so, but probably, let me check, cat, jam, there's no matching emotes, M maybe I'm missing access to some emotes or something, I, I'm, I'm really not sure. Okay, that's a land, I need, I need some lands, I need to keep making my land drops if I have this land, no, Fable Passage will already be my fourth, and I'll be fine for a bit. Until I make sh into the story cheaper. Okay, we're we're playing against this deck. Okay. Um. So now I guess uh. This second card each turn, they are they can only cast at most one spell this turn. Now I can actually just... Come on. Oh, Elsa. <laughs> I have my cat destroying my sofa. Jesus. Um, okay, let's go, let's go, let's go. Oh, Elsa. I, I was under attack. Come on. <laughs> like this, it's hard to, to focus, Elsa. Okay. Let's do this before combat to maximize the, the milling. Okay. And let's end the turn. So this triggers as soon as they have seven or more. Elsa is saying hello to the stream. <laughs> and she's trying to play with me from the back of my monitor. It's... She's trying to distract my game. I guess uh, my opponent has, has bought her. Okay, sure. It resolves opponent, for sure. Okay, you have a flyer now. Yeah, fill, fill your graveyard, opponent, please do. That's a pesky 1-1. One, one. Using Artless Act on that, it's like crazy. Okay, sure. <laughs> Elsa, Partiziki saying hello, come on. No, she, she's ignoring you, I'm sorry. She's not as good as a cat as I'm as a person, I guess. <laughs> um, sure. The land can make me quite happy. Let's let's put them some some swamps because of awakening. I might need it at at some point. Okay, now. We can actually play Artless Act and Soaring Thought If it's really... I start attacking for for a bit more, but actually Artless Acting this, it's really meaningless since the... Um, since they, they can pump out so many, so many uh, fairies. Hey Midge, welcome man, welcome. Thank you for joining. So I, I don't promise that today's stream will be without hiccups. Um, since uh since uh, my my throat is a bit sore and all that but uh, i guess i guess it should be fine let's see um didn't say please counter spell um for now i don't see them playing uh, a big creature right now at least 
Okay. And let's just hold our horses for a bit. That's that's a Portuguese expression probably. It's it's not translatable, but hold your horses it's like hold on and don't uh, don't push forward as fast as you can. Uh, sure, you gain one life. Target though. Good play to get damage through. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> so it's yeah, probably I, I heard it somewhere uh, for, for sure. But yeah, to, it would be to that to additional damage. I, I'm just I'm just wondering if they have like a big creature or something like that. I'm not I'm really not sure. Sure, two improbable alliances. Damn. Now I want my Lurus or Agadim's Awakening, but I'm a bit. I need another untapped land to to have that. Sure. So, opponent, do you want to trade? So if I trade, I can always play Lurus and get back a Soaring Thought if I can actually do that before combat and ensure that if they triple block my Soaring Thought if I kill them, I, I kill all their creatures. So, and they are tapped out, so no time like now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes, yeah, Bright Dragon. True. Maybe, maybe even that flyer, that three-three flyer with prowess. I forgot its name, but well, okay. I for, I forgot uh, how to, how to actually play the deck. Uh, <laughs> I was I was considering the old um, the old Lurus uh, uh, or the the old companion rule. Okay. Are you blocking opponent? Triple block, of course. I couldn't... I shouldn't have let them know that I was to, to be casting Lurus next turn and all of that, but I guess... I guess... It's fine. Um, so... Yeah, definitely. I could have played also these before combat, have Artless Act open for their third blocker or something like that. Yeah, no worries about the, the view count, it's... <laughs> oh, nice. I, I actually played play this card for a little while when I played um, standard, uh, standard tutelage. Is it tutelage? Uh, this was a cool sideboard card that deck um sure damn that card is bonkers luckily i have an artless act for it so but if i artless act i also have into the story if i want to refill but uh right now i want to get this out of the way uh, th this creature can can do too much i guess uh i don't have one toughness creature so hmm Okay, let us first see what's what's coming. Soaring thought if it's cool. That is pretty cool. Say, Artless Act leaves me three mana open. I don't want to be casting Lurus without. Um, so I can leave this for their next turn, actually. Okay, sure. So no attacks. And at the end of my turn. Before they have the option to, to play to play any creatures. <laughs> it truly really does. Um, it truly really does. But this, but this card can, can do so much in, in a card drawing dedicated deck. But but yeah, they, their deck is like spread all around the there's synergy in there, but... Hmm. Uh, sure. Sure. A bunch more of those. Okay. No blocks, man. I'm fine on letting that, that be. 
Okay, that guy is huge. So right now I guess I want to cast Lurus and have my, my Soaring Thought if come back. Into the story won't, won't, won't do much at this stage of the game, I guess. It will enable my future turn, but, but for this turn at least I had plenty. And delaying that, I don't th think it's that useful. Uh, so, yeah. No, no attacks, no attacks. Today my brain is kind of slow, so <laughs> bear in mind with me, bear with me. Um, but yeah, either way. Uh, either way, we will have a fine draft session as we as we've been having lately. Um, sure, I don't think I'll I'll be able to do much. Yeah, exactly. That that's how that that's that's my how I use constructed. Oh, an eleven eleven, nice. <laughs> Does Lurus read once per turn or only on your turn? Um, once per turn, I think. Huh? During each of your turns. Yeah, each of your turns. So only my turns. But but good question indeed. <laughs> okay, that guy has trample. Oh Jesus Christ! But I can sort of kill it. Oh. Let's go, let's go! So many fairies. So many fairies. Opponent. Now it's my turn. Okay. Now I can soaring, soaring, thieves. Am I close to milling them with two soarings? Uh, I'll mill four with Murfolk Queen Robber. When it deals damage, so doesn't work. Thieves Guild Enforcer, okay. This mills for a for a, a bunch more. So right now I, I want to take advantage of Lurus while he's there. So let's let's do it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I do agree with you, Jay Willow. It would be probably too powerful, but a cool interaction indeed. So now I can... I'll probably into the story. Since I cannot really attack right now. Let's fill in my end. Okay. A little mage's domination, that's what I like to see. <laughs> no attacks. No attacks, no attacks, come on. Yeah, yeah I, I started playing during that time. That's when I got this Lurus, actually. <laughs> Another one. Come on. Come on. All the Blitz. So, the opponent is out of cards in hand. 30 cards. Pass. Sure. You want to attack? I'm at 9. So I'll simply shump lock this. Jesus, he has seven here. <laughs> 30. Okay. I won't have enough blockers. So my my, my priorities have flying creatures, right? Uh, so how many can I put on the battlefield? One. Uh, two. <laughs> Three. And that's it? Okay. Uh, I could also attack and gain three life, so three, seven, five. I would be still be dead. Mm, okay, thirty cards. Rune crab doesn't do anything. Okay, I guess it's yeah. Okay, so I've had enough. I'm as warmed up as I can be at least today. So. <laughs> no, 
the first time I played Magic was after that, but um, at least right now, uh, I, I looked into some previews for for uh, Kaldime. They're, they're trying some some funky stuff for for new walkers. But but yeah, it's like this thing about having cards that completely uh, overcome others uh, just because yeah. Very important. Oh yeah, Lisbon, Lisbon is is quite interesting. Um, I actually live way north, or uh, considerably uh, up north uh, from Lisbon. Uh, so I live in Braga district uh, near Porto. Porto is terrific. It's it's so beautiful. It uh, to be honest, I I think it's prettier than than Lisbon. But L Lisbon is is. Even though Porto has a lot of tourism, Lisbon um, definitely wins. There's a lot of centrality in Portugal um, and uh, close to these two cities, essentially, and in, in to a lesser extent closer to, 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 to the sea region. But Porto, if, if you come back to Portugal at some point, Porto is, is the city to visit, for sure. Uh, and I actually live close by, I studied there. Oh, yeah, Pastel de Nata. It's, it's so good. I am, when I, uh, probably most times that I went to Lisbon, I, I, I went to, to the, to the bakery that, that makes them or the, makes the most tradition, the, the most traditional bakery or whatever in Lisbon. And I always ask for like three. Pastel de nata and a beer. That that's my that's my lunch for for the <laughs> for the day. It's it, it it's not good for your health, but it's good for your mind. And sometimes that's more important. Okay, whatever. Let's do. Um, where is it? Where is it? Premier draft Syndica rising. But yeah, guys. Um, so, um, um. Initially, I didn't know if I was gonna discuss this, but um, the thing is, um, uh, I, I think there's actually a problem by not discussing that, and that's why I exposed. I, I said on on our on Midge's Discord that um, that I I have COVID, so I have some mild symptoms, not n nothing that that big, but um, yeah, just uh, no warning is enough. Uh, no, no, there, there's no amount of warning that is enough, so if you can stay safe until all the vaccines... Um, um, so uh, until the, the vaccines uh, protocol and system is in place and well running and everything is is um, is falling into, into place again, yeah, please, please be careful. Um, there's... There's a lot of people. Portugal is 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 in Portugal. It's spreading like wildfire. It's it's just crazy right now. Um, yeah, thank you. But but yeah, it's uh, m most of most of the times people people like don't don't want to talk because oh I've put someone in danger. But yeah, uh, after the fact, uh, it doesn't work like that. You cannot reverse uh, the past. So. It just better warn people, try to incentivize them to, to get tested because um, a lot of, so at least in Portugal, the testing protocol is, I don't really agree with it uh, from what I've been reading, but uh, either way, only specific situ in, in some specific situations you are tested, there's a lot of assumptions that don't work. Um, so. And it's it's not pleasant. Today I'm I'm alright, but uh, two days ago I had some some fever, and um, my my father actually got pneumonia, so it can get very very serious. Actually, a friend of mine uh, living in London, um, he also got pneumonia, and he's my age. So uh, and I'm 27. So um, that that story about only injuring old people and all of that first that's that's something that that is not true of course um even though the percent the probability is less on younger people but additionally even if you're young you're you're transmitting it everywhere you you go um so yeah 
with that out of the way and we we can we can keep on discussing that for sure but um let's start our draft while i have a voice <laughs> yeah the issue is like it's it's human nature to try tr to try the limits and like you try once it works you try again it works at some point you are not afraid anymore and you and you start uh, pushing the boundaries uh, way farther than you should and th that's that's how it gets even, even if everyone started scared about the disease which is not true but well so today i just hope to have a, an easy mode draft oh so many good playables okay so aura is awesome lol mage's domination is awesome Royal Eruption is awesome. Black Bloom Rogue is also awesome. Um, Jesus. Aura has, has a very high ceiling. Um, because in, in a Cleric's deck, it, it can replace itself. Um, and altogether, I think it's the most powerful cards among all of these. Uh, it, it definitely has a more, uh, <laughs> more potential. So, and since... Yes, we're not. We're still not sure if this is the seat for clerics or or anything like that. Typically, I've not been playing clerics for a while because I think that people are force pushing it and competing for it while I draft other archetypes. Uh, but yeah, this card is just too powerful. Seagate Stormcaller. I don't think I've ever played with this card. Still, there, there's other interesting cards in the pack, but. Um, yeah, it can duplicate a, a spell, like a royal eruption or th or something like that, um, with kicker. So we would need to pay seven <laughs> to to copy the next instance. So I would still I would need to be at nine man or something, uh, unless I have ways to lower the kicker cost, like the um, the green vine gecko. Oh, I need, I need to check what happened on chat. So, either way, um, out of this pack and given our colors, uh, if if we will court Celebrant or Shepherd of Heroes, it would be great. Uh, probably we won't. Ghastly Gloom Hunter, I, I would still be happy on playing it, but out of all these cards, uh, Bloodshift's Thirst is just too good of removal to, to miss. Damn, Jay Willow. I'm sorry to hear that, man. I hope I hope everything gets better once the dust settles, and I hope you're doing all right. Um. So out of this pack, uh, we actually have some cards of interest. Um, probably the the one that I'm more more interested in is. This is like a decision between Zoth and Blood Beckoning. Blood Beckoning, I would, I definitely want to play one of them in this deck. If I don't manage at least one, essentially two between this and Thwart. Uh, but but Zoth, I guess it's just too much value to, to leave on the table. Oh, but you, you'll find something, Jay Willow. You'll, you'll be Twitch partner in, in no time. Trust me. Um, out of this pack... Um, nothing really awesome. Right now I'm I'm already trying to, to look for, for signals, but this pack uh, doesn't have anything uh, interesting. Palaka Predation, having it here, since three cards were picked, two uncommons and two commons, and still the, M the black MDFC was left on the pack and there's only one MDFC per pack so um, and an Imana Sky Dancer too so I guess black should be open and that's what we've been picking we might find our time to, to get into white <laughs> according, according to, to these packs okay unfortunately no white we can still pick all the white that we need probably on pack 2 since we're not passing virtually any white cards besides 
pack two, I believe, or pa yes, pack two, where we had like two excellent clerics to play. Um, th this is like Sign of the Swarm works very well on clerics, but Gamma Feather Vanguard works very well in in warriors as well as in in black red uh, party because that archetype typically falls into uh, a lot into into warrior synergies from red uh, but still i'm i'll continue trying to force between quotes the um, the clerics deck and and i think this this should look fine and altogether if i if i keep on drafting black i'm I'm happy. We're seeing we're seeing some nice. Uh, uh, come on, again, warriors again. I I feel like I'm always playing warriors because that that's the thing that virtually all the table is forgetting about. Um, but I won't force it. For for sure, no black card in this pack. Um, Angel Art Protector is is one of the the the, the weaker clerics to play for sure. Um, I think, I think I'll do what I should and try to, to see if, if red is open and leave that possibility open. Jesus Christ. Thundering Rebuke? Pick seven? These people, these people are crazy, man. I know, I know that there's a Marauding Blight Priest, but we've not been seeing that much, um, that much black, uh, white. We're seeing black, we're seeing red, so whatever uh whatever my opponents want that is fine this is too strong uh come on oh jesus sure oh confounding conundrum oh so no black here so we've been cut from black like from pick six um that's not very good, but if we fall into an aggressive um, black-red uh, party deck, Inordinate Rage can do some stuff. Uh, no reason for us to, to move to green, I guess. Um, this card can work with green-black counters. Yeah, let, let's, let's dip our toes into green. And we're rewarded. Gnarled Colony, very, very late Gnarled Colony, and... I want to play that and and we're still essentially open in what we will do we i'm still not sure if it will it will probably be, be black something but black green is a possibility for sure i'm not really sure what kind of signals did i pass previously um in terms of green but uh, green is not as strong so i'm not that worried um Skyglyph Sentinel can do some work in this kind of deck and doesn't push me towards anything. Subtle Strike, it will end up being played. So th this is, even though this is interesting, this is only more interesting if we if we get into the late game. Okay. Okay. Mind Drain doesn't work that well with uh, with black green counters. Yeah, yeah, definitely a lot of green. So that's why we, we should we should prioritize that kind of cards. Strength of solidarity, it it doesn't do much in this kind of deck. Uh, you don't end up with uh, with many party types on your deck. Um, now a scale the heights that um, essentially it's a it's a bit expensive cantrip. I I'm willing to play that. Dauntless survivor also works on this deck. Titter Peak Ambusher is also a possibility, but I'm not sure. Okay. So, out of this pack, let's... Roiling Regrowth. Um, it can be useful to trigger some landfall uh, things, but um, other than that... <laughs> yeah. Um, Roiling Regrowth. Yeah. So, Grotech Night Runner. It's useful if we have some invasion built into uh, the deck. That that can happen with with some uh, with some combat tricks, but it's altogether not that interesting. Shadow Stinger can do some work in a rogue stack, but um, 
altogether that's not very good to basic land sacrifice so this ramps us a bit um and oh damn damn we dipped our to our toes then into green and and uh, red last um uh last pack but in this pack like uh, it's it's like in this pack it's like a decision between Royal Eruption and Iridescent Orn Beetle and Orn Beetle can do a lot in this deck um, in a in a counters dedicated deck and there goes a cleric of life bond to make company to my aura but it's fine it's already too late for that um, Ghastly Gloom Hunter is a really nice card for for this uh, Counters Matters deck. C Counters Matters is not one of the best archetypes by far. <laughs> uh, but if Agra Constrictor or Oblivion's Anger will, I'm I'm already happy, to be honest. But G Ghastly Gloom Hunter altogether, it works well in, in in other decks. It might also it might even make its way into the into the black red deck if we if we need to and it enables us to to stay a bit open uh, for longer okay dreadworm not really not really interested it's it can still work as a finisher sometimes and it's even better if you put like a plus one plus one counter and it gains menace and all that stuff so you you get to kill like two creatures there there's some there's a pocket of synergy in there Demon's Disciple... Uh, Shatter Skull Minotaur, oh, come on, you're making this this so hard. Um, I guess we'll dwindle a bit longer in in these colors. I'm really not sure. Th this Dreadworm might even wheel. This is pack 4, so uh, pick 12, 9, 10, 11, 12, pick 12. It, it's improbable. Of course we're seeing white in, in this uh in this uh way but coming our way but uh, it's not really a signal hey beard the days so i've i've not been trimming my beard for a while i i i, I hope you're proud i hope you're proud of me <laughs> how are you okay out of this pack is like between ghastly and soft consumption um, it would be great to have ways to get this back from the from the graveyard back to our end. Uh, right now, I, I guess I guess we need to to start um, coalescing into 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 a given plan. We can we need to stop Dwindle this much. Uh, Fireblade Charger doesn't do that much unless we have equipments, and equipments in this set are not that good, generally speaking. Nimana Sky Dancer doesn't provide that much synergies it's a bit overcosted of course it gains menace but uh, it's easily killed dreadworm can have some synergies i i don't remember playing this card since like pre-release but um but it can do some stuff and so many so much red so much red i, I guess i i passed some some um some um green signals be uh, early pack one so that's why we're not seeing green but the other way we will see green for sure but we're seeing a bunch of red so th th this this draft is going bonkers if we manage to have some some um some car fixing some color fixing i would be happy so this is before the wheel because Endo Nectar Pod can can help us get into the late game still it's way too late for a Grotech Night, Night Runner uh, p people are really down on on the nectar pod i know it, it it mostly works if you play it early but if you want to get into the late game it can be an effective ground blocker since there are so many creatures with one toughness and it it can gain so much life i have won games just due to that card being on the battlefield and, and it goes um you might not even notice because it's it's value it's a lot of value but through time um, still, it's not great, it's just uh, like a C or something, but it's not a C- minus or D+, plus as, as some people um, probably put it. I picked that card just because, because I was kind of talking in the meantime. Uh, Ardent Electromancer can do some work in the if we end up being red. 
terms of colors, how are we? So we have most more red, but we have some some nice green here. Gnarl Colony. We also have some uh, Jesus Cleric of Life. Come on, no one is playing clerics. They have an aura, and and I didn't saw any. Oh come on. I still might might end up in in plus one plus one counters and red worm wield. I don't want to play multiple, but I I won't be playing white right now. <laughs> I I'm happy that you're proud, uh, beer the days. I'm happy. Um, the stream is going well. Uh, it's it's being interesting. Um, so t today's a fast one. We're just doing a draft and we did just some some early games before draft and so on uh target creature from your graveyard from the graveyard to the battlefield um yes no priest of oblivion can be bonkers in this deck uh if i manage to have one or two, if this reclaim wheels or something like that i might end up playing some some red two grotek bug catchers Oh, Jesus. Our decisions. So let me look into the cards here. Iridescent Horn Beetle can do stuff. The, the issue is our black cards is, are not that great. Um, unless we have a clear path. But our our red cards are also not not awesome. Well, we have some we have some juice going on. We definitely have some juice. Okay, let us see. Let us see. Gnarl Colony is cool. Fireblade Charger, we already talked about it. Demon's Disciple. Um, it's it's in, very uh, inefficient removal, <laughs> in a way. Um, so I guess, I guess since we, since most of the synergy that we have in our deck is is towards counters, I'll probably follow suit and and try to draft uh, towards that so here we have a decision to make balagad recovery is very good as a very good mdfc we also have a rabbit bite but i think in terms of power level balagad recovery is just it's just better might of moraza doesn't do much in this kind of deck um and that's basically it still big three blue we're seeing some blue in big three still I'm I'm really not sure how clerics was not open um, on pack one. Uh, the cleric wheeled the table. It wheeled the table. Doesn't make sense in my in my mind. I don't know exactly what people are doing, but it is fine. So if these wheels, I would be happy. Even if Nimana Skydancer wheels or something, uh, I would already be happy. But this deck is not... It doesn't seem that good right now. Um, I guess 14 cards. For, so 14... Mm, 8, 7... We're excluding white and stuff, so this is only the main board. Uh, so yeah, we're dwindling a bit, but still, um, I, I'm happy of, on having all the gnarled colonies that I can. I'm really happy. We already have two dread worms. We'll probably just play one, depending on how it goes. Uh, but giving it a plus one plus one counter and giving it trample or menace and or things like that, it can be, it can do some work. Other than that, I I'm not interested in anything from this pack. Mm. Reclaim the waste may, may help us splashing red at, at least for something like thundering rebuke Thundering rebuke is is very efficient removal uh, It's just crazy. We might actually play like mm, it, it all depends in the end if we If shatter skull minotaur goes towards our plan or not um, But still the it's not really Splash. Oh no, I was looking at this like as if it was an MDFC, but it's not. Forget it. Forget it. Uh, Cinderclasm. 
So my creatures will be, generally speaking, not that big. Oh, 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 come on. Oh, what did you do? I'm, I already have way too many of those on my, on my collection. Come on. It was a wasted opportunity, but it's fine. Seagate Colossus won't be played, most likely. I could pick a Song Mad Treachery and just play with one mountain and this or something like that for the, um, for the splash. Yeah, I already have expensive cards uh, on my deck and ways to finish the, the game. Um, so, 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 so. Um, out of this pack, I'm not really interested in anything. Creature card. Oh, I don't even know what I picked because Harin has this weird bug, bug but we, we will take a look into that later. So I guess we've been picking black, red and green have been quite open. Not that any of these are, are obvious, um, obvious uh, signals, but still can do some work. So, 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 given, given that I'll have indestructible creatures and, and things like that, um, that card can do some stuff. If I have plus one, plus one counters, that's cool. Red Worm, I have plenty. Sneaking Guide, very late Sneaking Guide. People don't value the small, guy, the small rogue. Not sure why. Okay, 53 cards, let's play. No, I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. Let's see. So. This is not that good. Not that good. We could, we could have done a lot of different stuff from our seat, for sure. So, with this, with a reclaim, this gives us three mountains. So that's plenty. Let's see if... If we need to remove the the thundering rebuke, I would I would do so, but it's 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 a very worthy splash. Let's see how, how our lands count is before anything else. So MDFCs, we have a bunch. We have a bunch. Okay. Might still lower one red worm. Sign of the swarm on too much in this deck. It can still uh, see. Let's see if I have wa ways of gaining life. I have mind drain, but it's it's a narrow interaction. I won't play all these mind drains. I will play at most true two, but I also have ghastly gloom hunter. So it it's actually a worthy interaction with sign of the swarm. I guess I'll leave it. Uh, it's a very it's a very nice finisher, and I don't think I need much more than I have already. So how many creatures do I have, or how many cards related giving? Uh, counters do I have? I have three <laughs> ghastlies. Um, no. So three for five. I'm not sure if I'll play both. I might. Six. Uh, seven. Eight, nine, ten. Uh, th this will probably go, go away. No real synergies. Ten. Eleven. Oh, damn. I have a bunch of those. Um, I might lower a bit the curve here. Locked oh, top four cards. Rest in your hand and rest on, you lose two life. This doesn't do much in this deck. I, I know I don't have really ways to look for. So how do I hope to finish the game? That, that's that's something that I was deleted by the moderator. Pants E Savage. Okay, I guess Nightbot is MTG bot is doing some stuff. <laughs> it's it's banning uh, users. That's cool. Um, so besides this, Aura won't do anything in this deck. Red Worm. Do I have? Do I want multiples? Let Let's just see if I want two. I probably won't. In terms of lands, how do I? How am I faring? Nine, nine, three. Uh, so actually, nine, ten, three. But I have mostly mostly black cards for my early game. Right now I'm at uh, 7, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20 lands. So 20 lands is is 
if I'm at 9 lands each, I'm already good. Reclaim the Waste counts as both a mountain or a swamp, depending on what I need during the game. Um, so, um, yeah, I, I end up with 9 swamps, 9 forests, uh, and 2... Uh, and 3 mountains. That looks good. That looks good in terms of... Um, in terms of lands. We don't have a very high curve. We certainly have a lot of five drops so in terms of a lot well we have four four is, is still quite a lot how are we faring on getting into the late game we have some life gain we have some removal not much so i'll probably <laughs> but trimming a, a dread worm for what really might of muraza doesn't do much in my deck no, I, I guess I guess this is the deck. Uh, three mind drains is is already way too much. So this deck is not the best, <laughs> but I guess I guess it will do for today. And the music stopped. Okay. No, it's 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 cool. <laughs> My cat is is waking up. Um, <laughs> oh Jesus! Okay, so th this is interesting because I I don't actually remember playing this archetype, so I probably don't play it for a while. Probably since the the beginning of the format. Um, this this end is definitely a keep. Uh, in terms of priorities, <laughs> well, my priority is not getting flooded that's my priority other than that um other than that it's playing a land on my first turn but between gnarled and ghastly gnarled can do more early and ghastly ghastly can actually do more later if i if i manage to kiss to kick a ghastly gloom hunter it can it can just be awesome awesome for me and we have mountains so we're unlocked. We're unlocked in terms of lands. So, deck, please stop. I know the opponent is not pressuring me, but it's... Uh, th th this kind of deck, it, it's not really a control deck. <laughs> it will have some some three drops and, and stuff like that. So, nothing I can do. By the way, I've still not been inspired today. Inspire me. Oops. That was wrong. Let's see if it's still working, the Nightbot. Inspire me. Come on, Nightbot, are you... Maybe Nightbot is sleeping? Okay. Given that, I'm happy to trade, since I have another, if they want. Um, this is a nice instant to to use after actually yeah next turn i can leave oblivion zunger open uh, and do some some fun stuff so do i want to kick this will cost me five so and this will cost me four five six so i have five six drop right now i'm good right now i'm good i already played the land for the turn so oblivion zunger no need This guy doesn't have um, plus one plus one counter, so no need. Oh, so Nightbot, you you actually work. Of all the wonders that I have heard, it seems to me the most strange that man should fear. Seeing death, a necessary end, will come when I will come. William Shakespeare, Julius Caesar. That's profound. Okay, whatever. Uh, sorry, opponent, you were waiting for me. Yeah. Just proceed, opponent. Sure. Okay, so I'll have four lands. Four lands still is not enough to, to kick my spell. 
Should I be doing stuff? Not really. I can hold the game for a little while longer. Yeah. It is fine. Okay. Oh, I never saw this mascot. It's a black fox. Okay. Sure. Come on, opponent. What are you thinking about? You're playing your full turn. That's how it should be. Sure. I'll gain a bunch of life, hopefully, with Ghastly Gloom Hunter. They're likely holding removal spells. Uh, sure. When it dies, that's not um, a high priority, I would say. Okay, so now I'll have um, a kick Gnarl Colony enabled. The next turn, I have a kick the Ghastly Gloom Hunter enabled. And in the turn after that, I can use my, my Oblivion Zunger to get some value. Oh, no worries, man. No, no worries, Party Ziki. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, I actually just bought a dishwasher last year. Uh, it, it's it's so better. It's so much better. And the, during the winter, uh, since since I I don't want to to spend a lot of money eating up water. Um, yeah, I prefer spending money on magic. That that that's not very rational, I know. But don't judge me. Don't judge me. Okay, so they now also have their own gnarled colony. If they double block, can they double block profitably? Like, if I attack, they can. They won't likely do anything, right? Um. So I'll leave my creatures to hold off the ground, and I'll actually just cast a kick the ghastly for next to start attacking next turn in the air. And my Dauntless Survivor will put this as a 4-4, four four so I, it can attack through the, the Snarecaster, unless they, they pump it somehow. <laughs> yeah, you, sh you, sh you should invest in that. It, also, it would also be uh, saving water, so s sustainability is very important. Okay. That has... You're trying to disrupt me, right, opponent? You're trying to kill two of my things? No, I won't do that. I won't do that. My... L let's see, if I if I don't have um, a way to profitably block that on the ground next turn, I'll my Oblivion Zunger is going into the Ghastly Gloom Hunter and I'll be gaining four life each turn from the air. And I think that's th that essentially nullifies their attack. So easy. <laughs> are, are, are you two like uh, building um or um bi yeah build, building like a beard matters group or something? Partizik and beard the days. Is that is that something happening? Uh so scale the heights. Okay. An additional land this turn, so I can actually play two lands if I want. Either way, let's draw a land before combat to see what I have to work with. Okay, another land. That's awesome. That's awesome. And now, if I attack, they only have one blocker. I can have Dauntless Survivor put a counter somewhere and Oblivion Zunger uh, it, mm, yeah it's cool it's cool an Oblivion Zunger next turn it it should work like wonders So I'll put the, the counter here so that I can use two, two creatures to block effectively their creatures having Oblivion Zunger available. I could have done this after combat for sure. Uh, and I should, but as I said, today I'm kind of uh, <laughs> slow, I guess. Uh,
<laughs> All beards matter. If you admit small beards, I promise I won't shave mine in the foreseeable future. Okay. Hmm. I'm having skipped frames today, so it... Sure. Okay. Um... Now that's an effective blocker. Yeah, subtle strike makes sense there. <laughs> For sure. Actually, actually, funnily enough, funny you say that because today I actually have pizza for dinner. I'll have pizza for dinner. Vegan pizza, and I know that doesn't sound very interesting for the carnivores out there, but it's still <laughs> or omnivores. Uh, it's still something. So, what do you want to do, opponent? Okay, you're attacking with that. Sure. You have a trick, but now I need to test you and see what do you actually have. You'll probably leave my 4-4 in front. Plus 3, plus 2. If you have a plus 5, plus 5, plus five yeah, sure. I can still save my 4-4. Four, four. Um... And, and that's essentially it. But you have Trample. You have Trample. That's cool. Okay, they're also thinking a lot. Uh, uh, damage? Damage? Uh, sure, I'll trade like this. No worries. I'll trade it like this for sure. Okay. So, Placa Predation for starters. <laughs> um, so, Beard that they say. Eh. Uh, sure. This is my turn. So sure. Okay. Taunting Arbor Mage can be very bad for me. This will grow to a to a three five, right? Two counters. So three five, four five six seven, one two three four five. So they're still far away from that. Taunting Arbor Mage can be, can ultimately be be my ruin. Um. So no attacks. That was actually a, a good, um, a good trick from my opponent. But still, I wasn't planning on attacking. And either way, hmm. Yeah, I play a few of those. Yeah, my opponent is is drowning me. Okay. You know what's better than one, two. <laughs> Two Ghastly Gloom Hunters. Attacking every single turn? Yes, please. Sure. Just want to gain some life and you are tapped out, so... And no... No subtle strike in hand, so I'm... Free to do this. I, I still hold mana for the Oblivion's Hunger. Still, the issue with the, with my second Gloom Hunter is it won't attack. It won't be able to attack. Okay, Dreadworm, sure. Yeah. Now he's making line drops, of course. Of course. I'm at 22. Fine. No blocks here. I don't want... Uh, this draws me a card. And I... 
and I prevent 5 damage. And I can actually block with Ghastly Gloom Under and I win 4, I gain 4 life actually. So it's 3 life. So, so yeah. Oi! Yeah, deciding on blockers after I pass the blockers phase, it's it's the recipe for disaster, for sure. Yup. Okay. So that's something cool. I definitely want to get the Jura Snarecaster out of the way from my flyers. And I can protect whatever I need from the from the big snake next turn with my gnarled colony, so yeah. No real thinking here. Just want to take that out of the way. And start gaining life as crazy. Let's gain some life. <laughs> and the turn. And the turn. So you guys, have, have you made any... Any promises like New Year, New Year uh, promises for for yourselves? Things that you want to work on this year besides getting to to partner in in Switch, I guess. <laughs> sure. No land this turn. Three, four, five, six. Still one mana away from that. Uh, okay. Pass to blockers. Yes, I'll finally draw a card. And it's a land. Great. Great stuff. Now my issue... Oh, nice. <laughs> now I'm thankful, I'm thankful I have lands. <laughs> cool. Cool, cool, cool. So... Might we have turned this game? I, I certainly hope so. No. So, Dreadworm into the battlefield. And now they need to be careful. Now they need to be careful. I have two cards in hand. Okay. Yeah, they didn't draw land. Okay, so. A few stumbles here and there, but we won. Next game it is. By the way, what additional things... Okay. Oh, I made the daily challenges. I typically forget about those. Okay. Next game it is against Deep Wrath. Deep Wrath. Okay, this end looks fine. We can ramp a bit even with the Reclaim the Waste, get our um get our late lands. Zoff consumption can be useful, but given this end and given that this deck is really mana angry. I, uh, I'll still play it tapped. It's so much useful for me. Oh, Mitch, it, you missed the draft portion. It was actually weird. T today's draft was definitely weird, but you can always watch later on YouTube <laughs> if you want. No, just kidding. We drafted um, uh, um, a green black uh, counters matters deck. It's not great. Uh, it, it can still do some stuff. We won game one. And we're currently playing for game two. Okay, we just started. So it, it it's it's an average deck or slightly below average, most likely. Again, um, same logic as last turn. Gnarled colony try to attract their their removal if they're stumbling in in board presence and things like that. So I'm happy on playing this. Let me do here a few changes. I need to lower a bit the volume of the game itself. And I also need... Let me just check something. Come on. Okay. 
what I need to do is check if this is best performance. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. Okay. So, my turn now. Um, do I want to attack? This guy is not likely to... Well, if he gains that touch, it can be bonkers. I can always Dauntless Survivor my Gnarl Colony and try to attack that way. And I would still have Reclaim the Wastes available. No need on spending our... Uh, yes, Reclaim the Wastes, we would still have it available, yes. So this guy now has Trample even, so now it's it's great for me. Of course they can attack back, but I don't really care. So right now we're not stumbling in, in lands. We'll get to five lands no matter what. Uh, four lands, I mean. Four lands, it's still not six. So I think I'll give it a little push. For, so, But with four lands, unless I have a good target for Thirst, uh, I'll kick Reclaim the Waste and get two lands, and next turn I'll get Gloom Hunter on turn five, essentially. So that looks like a plan. Reclaim the Waste next turn kicked, and get Gloom Hunter the following turn. And we would will be doing it, unless my opponent place also um, that Tejuru Snarecaster blocker thingy. Okay, so you have the rare. When... Okay, whenever another creature dies, if I kill it you get a 3. Destroy. I don't have ways to... to, to be able to... Um, to kill it. So what I can do and what I'll likely do is attack with Gnarl Colony and then have Bloodshift's Thirst open uh, to to kill their the, the, the token. And I can still do some stuff this turn if I do that. So first attack, I, I want to get rid of, of that Grokmo. Okay, they do nothing. That is fine. So I'll I'll keep my I'll stick to my plan. I'll stick to my plan of casting this kicked. I have two mountains. Yes, okay, it makes sense. And and what might I need? Uh, more black mana, maybe. So let's do that. Oh, oh Jesus! Uh, I've reading the card explains the card. Reading the card explains the card. So I'll still. Cast a Ghastly Gloom under turn 6, but it is fine. Okay, you want to attack. Um, given that, I could have left... Um, also have left this behind to prevent the attack from the Expedition Skulker, but let's see what my opponent has. Okay, that's a fine card. Oh, two Gloom Hunters. So this turn I want to... I want to kill some of my opponent's stuff. They are tapped out. I won't commit to the board and I'm I incur the, the danger of getting it for 3-5. So I would go to 8. I would I will win life, most likely, because I have two of them, and my opponent doesn't know that. Um so I can steal Black of Predation, Blood Shift's Thirst. Um uh, the Skulker. Do I want to do that? Yeah. So do I want to leave a blocker? Might they play a land uh, between their turn? Most likely not. So we're at five lands. Next turn we can cast. Okay, whatever. We need to, to do some stuff. So I'll do this. Actually, I could actually have done this before, but they are tapped out, so it doesn't really matter. Canopy Bailoth. So he doesn't have any other lands, so I'll take... Hmm, Dreadworm was actually a bit uh, stupid. Because they can still commit a few things. Um, and this uh, Mind Drain can do some stuff against me, unfortunately. 
So if they draw land, they'll attack me for 6, I'll go to 7. That is fine. Let's see if they want to trade. That is fine, because just because this deck doesn't have that much reach, uh, besides like Zoff's consumption. Um, and and yeah, other than that, uh, Ghastly Gloom Hunter will gain me a bunch of life. And my, my, the, the card that I discarded was completely wrong, bear in mind. I probably should have uh, taken down Mind Drain. And, and that's it. Huh? Oh, three or greater, exactly. So Mind Drain, yeah. Should have taken Mind Drain. At least I'm still uh, getting most of my mistakes. Okay. I'm fine with that opponent. He'll probably mind drain me. Or five. And that's very bad for me. That's why I should have taken mind drain off. You should have thought about your decisions, Duke. So right now I cannot really attack. I think I've attacked for enough time. I could actually attack. They, this guy has trample. Uh, no, no, not really. Let's see what our next uh, what what our next draw is, and and decide from there. So it, 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 there are some hiccups in my gameplay during this game, but there were definitely, but. Um, we're still in relatively good shape. Now all their guys have mana, so that's not really good for me. That's definitely not good for someone who's at 6 life. And I actually saw their hand, so I should have considered it. It is fine. Okay. So. Oh, and I did my draft with the... Uh, with a large webcam webcam setting, I'm sorry for that. We probably missed a few a few picks. Uh, chat, I'm sorry. Uh, so yes, I need to double block something in order not to be dead, and actually probably need to kill this thing. Otherwise, they'll get a three three either way. And I'm out of options. Yeah, six life. Okay, that's not enough. I'll block one of them. It still leaves me in the game, but... So I probably... Th th there were some punts there. I should have taken their mind drain off. Um, and not the card that I, they couldn't even cast. Right now they, they have their hand unlocked, but they don't even need to, to play their cards right now. Um, so it's really... Other than that, I probably shouldn't have attacked Forest so long. I was taking two damage from the Skulker just because they would attack with the other one most likely, but it would enable me to block and then... Um, and then use the Blood Chief's Thirst on, on it. Okay, no real decisions here. Or should I... It will kill both my creatures, so I don't want that. Let's do something like this. They'll do 4 damage, they kill, they kill one of my creatures. And... Now they're a they have a 5-5 five five and a 4-4 four four and I'm dead. Yay! Um, okay, that is game. Let's go to the next one. That Mind Drain killed me. Not only it, that Grokmo was really bad, but I probably should I, I should have play it defensively and not let them get to such a low life total. It would make sense, I think. But sure. 
Okay. Oh. Next game. Next game. And in in between the widgets uh, at your camera. Oh, cool. <laughs> um actually actually there's there's a great one i i don't i don't know if you notice it uh, whenever someone follows me right now it's follow i hope that's uh, a bit down the road uh, i switch that up to um, uh to uh to subscriptions but whatever um what i mean is there's like uh there's a little surprise under my yeah exactly you're you're actually seeing it because who did follow me did I miss something? What, why did it show up? I'm not sure. <laughs> I'm really not sure why did it show up. It, it's supposed to show up only when someone follows, but yeah, whatever. Let me just grab some, some tea while we wait for the next game. Oh, so that's it. <laughs> okay, okay, cool. Oh, but the the timer is probably too short right now because I was testing out a few things one of these days. I, I need I need to fix the timer. It's probably too fast right now. Um But but yeah, um uh, actually that that's that the um, the base for it is is uh, came from alpha gaming channel which you already talked about so you you know you probably know Ari Zeller and and the team pretty well by now uh, and they have this um this thing that also works without uh, without uh, gifs or animations but I actually found uh, some some nice uh some nice animations that I that I bought to to make this um, and I actually plan on switching them up later but for now uh, there's even a shiny and and all of that with 25% uh, chance of occurring <laughs> um, so this ant has no black mana <coughs> and I need it I really need it so it's a mulligan this ant is not great it's definitely not great, but at least, at least we have something to do. Okay, one land away, and that's it. Uh, by the way, Mitch, t test also the, um, the, um, the. Um, oh come on, the uh, how, the emotes. Oh, damn, my, my brain is really slow today. Test, te uh, feel free to test out the emotes to see what happens. I still need to tweak a few things, but um, but it's looking good right now. So no priest, of course, I'm happy on, on being able to kick it. Narl Colony can do some stuff early in the game. No priest wouldn't do anything against Cleric. Okay. Gnarl Colony is just too good. It's just too good. Did it work? Uh, m maybe I miss it. Yeah, emote wall. Uh, yeah, of course. <laughs> but uh, there's some still something missing because it's not it's not displaying multiples. It's not displaying multiples, and I want it to display display multiples. Actually, I have it open here, so let me just check. <laughs> You're having fun now. You're having fun. <laughs> okay, whatever. Giant opportunity. Don't care. I need to hydrate myself a lot today. I do indeed. And that's basically what I did, right? Yeah. 
Yeah, I guess so. So, uh, moving on. Uh, this end looks cool. Again, our plan is to cast, probably cast Nardal Colony on turn two. It, if it leaves to the late game, it can do some stuff to the Ghastly Gloom Hunter. And I have two, so I'll definitely play one of them. Thundering Rebuke is our only red, green, uh, uh, red splash. Uh, yes, our only one. Oh, another! That's cool. I, I, I saw your message on on Discord, but I still need to to take a deeper look into it. But it, but it, the the game looks looks really cool, and actually, <laughs> I guess Kaldine, it's like the more or less the same setting, right? <laughs> so, not sure where they came up with the with the idea. Well, it was planned for a while, probably preceding the the existence of Midgard. But, well, uh, so our plan right now is to incentivize my opponent to block my creature. As such, I will Dauntless Survivor pumping my Gnarl Colony. It can trample. So, opponent, will do you want to be it for two? Essentially, two each turn. Do you? I don't want to waste my uh, Gloom Hunter on the early game. Hey Sigma! Welcome man! Welcome! Thank you for joining! How are you doing today? I hope better than I am, but... <laughs> <laughs> it reminds you of what exactly, uh, Sigma? Do you want to to explain it to me? <laughs> okay, so since my opponent did that and I want to make my land drops, Black of Predation will be played as a land. I'll have three mana up. Three mana, I can either Gnarled or Ghastly. I will still probably cast Gnarled right now. So... Yeah, I could attack. It's virtually the same thing. They... With one black mana, they can't do much. Me? Uh. Black green. I sh ah oh yeah 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 I remember on Twitter on Twitter yes 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 I remember that. It was an interesting deck uh, doing a lot of stuff right. <laughs> I remember that now. So, so my my my. My long time time memory by now is completely destroyed by the con contact constant um, context switching that I have on my work uh, on my work. So uh, <laughs> that's why I, I I didn't remember. But yeah. Uh, but by the way, how did you do with it? Uh, you said to me that you won first game, I believe, but that you would uh, uh, you would resume it uh, later, if I remember correctly. Uh, so, three, four, five. We're almost in Ghastly Gloom Hunter territory. Um, if they trade with Agra Constrictor. Come on. <laughs> I've been playing against black green counters all, all day. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Okay, whatever. I'll just attack. See if they want to block. Of course they don't. Because this this can they might have stuff in on their end that can do work later. <laughs> so you're trying to actually forget the deck? So like it's a it's a completely new experience, like like opening a pre-constructed deck or something, right? That's your plan. Bear in mind at some point the, the drafts uh, are dropped. That happened to me when I was doing a, a sealed deck from whatever set it was. So <laughs> you should resume it uh, like 
uh, before call time hits or something like that. Oh, a lot of skipped frames, so I'll, I'll need to fix that, for sure. I was trying some stuff out. A nor another gnarled colony into the graveyard. Sure. So I could e e either cast Balagad Recovery, but the, the card is just too good um, to pass on. So I will still... I will attack. See if they want to trade to to trade no no uh, unless they have something for two mana. So if they have subtle strike, it it would be a two for one, which I would be fine with. But um, I won't play this as a um, as a land right now. If they kill my Gna ghastly gloom hunter, it's just uh, too good for them. I don't want that to happen. So I'll leave it as is right now. Um, if next turn I don't have uh, a land, I can I can uh, kick a Gnarl Colony. If I do have a land, I can kick Ghastly. Um, Orn Beetle can do some work, but not right now. So, opponent. Oh, a Mind Drain is nice. Mind Drain is nice. Um, even more at this stage of the game. So I could actually Mind Drain and Gnarl Colony, but Gnarl Colony unkicked would, wouldn't do much. So... I'll just maximize the, the my use of mana right now. I could have done that after combat, actually. Uh, because attacking with Dreadworm, if they double block, I kill their Iridescent Horn Beetle, which might do some work for them. But I guess I'm fine. Th this this actually has, has more value the farther we go into the game, because uh, well, this turn I didn't draw a land, but I can attack with it um, essentially every time I have a, I, I draw a land, so I'm quite happy with it. Okay, that's an aesthetic. And that gains you a bunch of life. And that's a land. So, plan is... Just... Smash! The plan is smash today. If I'm not fumbling. <laughs> Just waiting. 24 hour timeout. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so you also work uh, better under pressure, right? Is that it? Um... Okay. Oi. Now I have a 3 3 flyer. Trample. Lifelink. What will you do, opponent? I, like, this is my fourth game, if I recall correctly. Um, and I played three uh, black green counters matters deck against three uh, decks. Uh, I don't know what's going on. Uh, it's very rare for me to draft this deck, but it was one of the things open for my seat. Not, not the only one, but one of the, the open options. Uh, so, whatever. Yeah, I know, I know, I know. <laughs> Life's not easy, right? And and you have a at least a child, right? Hmm. Academia's awakening is good, opponent. Okay, that's uh, not what I want to see, but I will mind drain my opponent. It would be awesome to get um, to get something for the Thundering Rebuke. Gain one life, I can't do anything with that one life right now. Yeah! So, what are you holding that's better than Agadim's Awakening? You add mana for it, like four, five, five mana, so two, two CMC. Yeah, you wouldn't do much with it. <laughs> um, okay. Given all of that, let us attack. And we gain some life. And we play an... Uh, and we don't play another Gnarl Colony. We don't. This is actually a nice deck. I will... Last stream, 
the first game that I lost, I believe it was against the uh, black green counters. So if that that's the thing, everyone is focused on clerics, rogues, everyone is competing for those decks. Uh, this sort of decks, the 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 counters matters. It, it goes unnoticed, and if someone is able to to pick the good cards up, not saying that I was able to. So I have some payoffs, but uh, the synergy is a bit loose in this deck. Um, but still, it's just crazy. I have three ghastlies, four, uh, two I believe, colonies. Uh, I I actually have the my deck here. I guess it's working. Yes, it is. It is working. So let me check. Okay, you cannot see it via this client, but um, but yeah, I have some stuff going on. This is what's missing from my deck. I don't really care about that. Okay, this is my arena is crashing a bit. I don't know how, how they plan on. Uh, by, by the way, I don't know if you guys uh, noticed, but. Um, there's, I believe it's a beta, it's going off on um, uh, late January, a beta arena for Android, uh, but I, I don't know how they can manage to put arena playing on Android while uh, being so resource intensive on desktop. Uh, this, I'm playing on eye settings just and my, my laptop, well, it has like three years, but it was like the beast at the time, uh, so I, I don't really know. Whatever. Um, what I want to do here is still attack, see if they want to to start trading, uh, start trading, start blocking, jump blocking. And now I have, I present lethal for next turn, even if they block one. Well, actually, that's not true, of course. Um, actually, it is. Because I would deal 5 damage, they will gain 1 life going to 4, so it would be game. Unless they have some ga life gain or way to interact with my flyers or something like that. And uh, spells like Mind Drain help on that, so um, it's, it's something. It's something. Dauntless Survivor. Okay, that's a 2-2 now. You will survive next turn. What do they have in their hand? They kept one that that one card that I don't know exactly why. I'm trying to think. My Gnarl Colony won't do much when it enters the battlefield, so this is a desperate attack from the, from my opponent, I think. So let's see. If I blocked something like this, or whatever, something like. Okay, I'll have a Gnarl Colony to enable Trample damage next turn. So this, okay. I won't be able to do that, sure. Um, it's a 5-4. I just need one flyer behind, depending on what they do. I can jump block like this. And this is, this lets go through 3, 4, 5. 6, 7 damage. 7, I can take a bit more damage, actually. So let's put it like this. It's blocking that. So this is 6. I actually was not, wasn't counting trample probably, probably correctly. So uh, this is 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. I'm happy for that. And now they have a plus five, uh, well, something crazy. So they gain a bunch of life, but they don't. Do they have a f flyer behind? They'll probably just scoop now. One, two, three, no scoop. Okay, I guess. Um, so. I'll still cast this before combat just to give some trample just because i i i don't know uh th they they might have the the sky dancer or something to flash into the game not really sure i want to have some some trample okay it wasn't needed 
Joe is good at this streaming thing. I, I'm not. <laughs> I'm not. I, I, I've been learning with uh, with you and the rest of the guys in in um, in the Discord channel. That's 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 about it. Silver tier one, but actually my my objective is to be good at magic, and uh, I'm I, I I'm still far away from that. <laughs> at least constructed, it's it's like laughable, really. Well, to be fair, I I won a tournament in my local game game store uh, like in August or something. So shortly after, I I started. Uh, I restarted playing like pi it was a pioneer tournament. It felt good, it felt good, but I'm still... Jesus, you guys know so much more than I do. It's it's like crazy. Three wins, one loss. <laughs> it's already surprising for me that we that we went this far. <laughs> but it's fine. But yeah, Midgeworth, I, I need to, to try out Midgard. I tried out Run Terra, probably not enough, but Run Terra looks looks very interesting. And I've seen some some people from Magic switching or also complementing their game with uh, with uh, with it. But so um, given this end, it's not really great. It's it's a shitty end, but it's not a hand that we can uh, that we can uh, throw back for sure. <laughs> By try art. <laughs> uh, the, the, this is uh, not really related, but um, so they're playing red. I'll probably not play a Gnarl Colony this early. My Oblivion Zangar get so much better if I have a kick the Gnarl Colony on on the battlefield, and if I can protect it. Uh, uh, that, that's much better. Unless my opponent starts p pressuring me on board to uh, st starting from turn two, like uh, and uh, this landfall deck certainly can do that. So it kind of depends. Oh, but what I was saying is that there are some people that actually go to the play mode, like doing their daily challenges. They do it and then they like play three or four games in which they just scoop, so that uh, so that the opponent. Uh, uh, the gains uh, manages to have those those early wins. So my opponent is stumbling. That's very interesting. And uh, we have another gnarled colony. So given that, and given that this can be kicked in turn in turn five, I can actually put one in front of a of a spell uh, like a thundering rebuke from our opponent or something. So we will likely manage to get five lands. So I'll just ship the turn. Our deck has a very strong late game, and it's very weird for their deck not to be something on turn two, to be honest. It's very weird. They probably shouldn't have kept that, that a hand, given their game plan, and given that this is best of one. So their, their mulligan probably would, would be much better, provided they have a good curve. I don't know if I finished the story, yeah, people just, yeah, uh, I, I finished the story, yes. <laughs> okay, that's a Gnarl Colony, I don't really care that much, even if you start attacking. So, but if next turn I don't manage to, to, to make my land drop, what's my plan? Nothing really, right? So let's play one, try to hold the ground for a bit. And if we go land, land, it, it would be just crazy. I can even disrupt them. If, if they try to attack or be too aggressive or something, I can block an Oblivion Zanger to draw another card. Okay. I'll probably do that. Oh, no, no, no. I won't draw a card because th this doesn't have a plus one, plus one counter. Okay. You have a land to play. Play it. Okay. Now it's a 4-4. Four, four. It's a big 4-4. Four, four. So no need on casting Oblivion Zunger right now. I wouldn't draw a card, so it's not useful for me. Yeah. I need to...
Okay. Preventing four damage right now, not worth it. Let's take it. <coughs> okay. Will you do something with one mana? Probably not. Of course not. Null Priest of Oblivion. And we don't have anything. So we don't have a land to, ca to kick Gnarl Colony. We don't... We're not doing that much. 3, 4, 5, 6. So this is also 6 to... To do stuff. Manus Lifelink. Do I want to trade this? No, let's let's hold our life total for a little while longer. No need to to pressure them right now. Okay. Now they go. They're going to attack again. Get me to twelve. But still, they won't attack with Ardent Electromancer. That's useful for me. Oblivion Zunger, like one card to prevent four damage, that's that's really bad. Okay. Do you do something, opponent? You don't. So you want to trade with my Gnarl Colony, right? Um, will you play a two toughness creature? Okay, whatever. These Oblivion Zunger are doing, aren't doing anything on my hand. I'll steal old one for later. But I won't go to, to 9 just because. I won't go to 9 just because. Let's see if it, this improves. Oh, cancel. Forgot about that. So we'll gain some life. Sure. You're at 23 with a big creature on board. Hmm. That's a land. That's a land. Um, Thundering Rebuke would be really helpful here. So this also needs 6 to, to cast. Um, so this turn it's pretty trivial. We don't attack, we cast a, um, a kick Gnarl Colony, and that's about it. And that's about it. Yeah. I tried to increase my, my beat rate a bit to the advised settings, but uh, Twitch is, is throwing them back like crazy, so... <laughs> sure, I'll lower them again. Twitch. Thank you so much. Okay, that's a 4-4. Do you want to attack with it? Hmm, probably they don't, otherwise they wouldn't be playing everything before combat. They could attack with both, like trade one, I'm tapped. I would probably do that. Yeah, and they agree. Like, I cannot go to two. I need to, to bear in mind um, the a Royal Eruption. 3, 4, 5, 6, so they are one man away from a kick um, Royal Eruption. So if I go to... That will be small after they stop drawing creatures. So yeah, I want to, I want to kill this. I want to leave 4 go through. I'll go to 8. Happily. Once my opponent stops drawing uh, lands, I'm I'm good. I'm good. Okay, so subtle strike would uh, would take down at a Juro uh, Blight Blade. No real reason to do that now, but it, it would still uh, enable me to Oblivion Zunger on their turn and have um, and draw a card. So I think it's worth it. Uh, both of these are instants, so. It is fine. Let's just ship the turn. Bluff that we have nothing. 
That's a 4-4 four four now. I don't really want to trade, but... Okay. Damn. Now I'm dead. Now I'm dead. Okay. Sure. Whatever. Two. Block. I will subtle strike just because I want to go through the motions. Minus one, minus one, two, whatever. This guy has trample, so whatever. Plus one, plus one. Whatever. And now I'll steal Oblivion's Hunger, my creature, draw a card, and it's a land. Okay. GG opponent. So, after this game, let's actually just stop for one minute, use the bathroom, and get back in, okay? See you. And let's get back to it, shall we? So, three wins, two losses. Let's try to, to break the barrier of 50% at least. We should do more. Probably we will we'll do more. I'm confident on my skills. At least that's what I tell myself every single night before going to bed. Whatever it takes, whatever it takes. So, we have actually both colors of mana. Again, a, a dead Thundering Rebuke in our hand. Still, it's just one card, so that is fine. Dreadworm will be cool to cast. Actually, this card can do some stuff. I, I haven't managed yet to put a counter on it and... Well, I cannot really make it as manas, right? But it, still, it's it's a nice target for, for counters. Um, given all of that, I need green man on turn 2 most likely. So, black. Will my opponent play a forest? No, it's a plains. They're playing clerics. <coughs> I guess. Okay, that's another forest. Cool. That's a 1-2. My Gnarl Colony... ...shumps that. Or... No, doesn't shump, come on. He eats that. For breakfast, actually. This guy is big. These guys are big. These guys are really big. Big bears with horns. Damn. He looks mean. It looks like uh, the, the face that Elsa makes me whenever I, I I remove her from the back of my laptop when she's sleeping there yeah definitely um so we're we're amassing a a good chunk of lands in our hand that's cool uh do we want to attack if they double block I want to take that fearless fledgling out for sure um they won't double block. They so the the attack is obvious. It's just obvious. Other than that, I won't do much this turn. I believe again two oblivion zungers. Probably two on our deck is too much, but we're we're missing playables. So I guess it's not really an option. Yeah, I need to lower this. Um. So yeah. Come on. Play our land and ship the turn. Now they're, they'll do three damage back. Most likely. They, they, they won't be interested in leaving Seagate Banneret behind or blocking duty. But still, the, the thing is, while I'm attacking... Okay, that's... That makes them big. You're using that so aggressively in the early game. Hmm, opponent. Yeah. It, it, it's normal, okay? So, my opponent is, is likely trying to cast all the cards that he can. Before doing anything else. And I'm fine. I'm fine taking it. It's just 5 damage. It's still early. <laughs> I have ways of removing that. So, 4. Uh, next turn we can Dread Worm. Uh, right now, we don't have much choice. So, attacking with normal colony essentially uh, 
well, it gets us, uh, it nullifies, it's positive for me when compared to Seagate Banneret, um, because it's like plus one difference between mine, my life total, and my opponent's life total. In this situation, of course, I need to be careful about my own life total because of Fearless Fledgling, but still, um, uh, still, I, I will be able to start attacking quite profitably with Breadworm every single turn. Every single turn? Well, at least I hope. <laughs> the problem with these Oblivion Zungers is, th is that if I don't have the um, the guy that the the two mana one one that put us puts a plus one plus one counter on a target creature, if I don't have that, um, this Oblivion Zunker is kind of dead in my hand. So probably one is as mo the, the most I can play of them. <laughs> well, no worries. Mm-hmm. Damn, if my opponent gets me like this... Well, I'm not doing much, this deck is not great, but um, still. <laughs> oh nice, I can mind drain their end. Still Dreadworm is probably most more, more impactful. This is still a 2-2. Yes, Dreadworm for sure. Will they be able to cast those two cards? They will be top decking mode, but I still don't want to trade like this. So, Dreadworm it is. <laughs> and let's see, my opponent might not play anything on their turn, and I might be able to um, to to do so, to to have some value out of the mind drain. Okay, three damage, that's fine. Gets me to eight. Hmm. Okay. This is fine going. And Thundering Rebuke is kind of dead. I have 28 cards. I have three, um, three ways of drawing cards. So I won't have counters anytime soon. So these cards are a bit garbage. <coughs> okay, I needed that land opponent. Sure. One, two, three, four, five. And six, and we can cast Ghastly Gloom Hunter. I know Mind Drain will, won't be as good, but still. A kick the Ghastly Gloom Hunter? Come on. I'm at seven now. They're at 17. But I can still do this kind of stuff. What do you have, opponent? Now I can... If they attack with the Fearless Fledgling, I can even block with the Ghastly, kill it. Oh no, no now I can kill it because... Yeah. Um, but... I'll be able to gain some life. They'll put me to three. Unless they have Zoff in hand, they cannot really kill me. Okay. Are you attacking with just that? No blocks. You are tapped out, opponent. Now I can gain life. <laughs> so I'll have this blocker behind. If I gain three life, if they, uh, I'll go to six. If they gain life here, uh, or if, if they cast a land, they'll be able to attack in the air for five so i'll be at one so i need to leave blockers behind on the ground in order not to die so either way oh no 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 just this one come on i don't want to be dead like that oh of course i can't kick it so now if they kill one of my creatures They'll attack for five, uh, so they can either either have a removal spell or a land now. If they have a land and attack with all, uh, it's profitable for me. They can still pump their five to six, so it's not really profitable. I might just be dead now that I realize it if they draw a land. Hmm, I don't like that. I don't like that feeling. If they draw a land, 
I'll go nuts. Because this was my fault that I lost this game. Well, I, I wouldn't do much to recover it, to be honest, but still. If it's a land, they can cast it. This is a 5-5 flyer. This guy then... Um, oh. oh, you don't play that as a land? Oh, opponent, you had a win. I think it just missed the... Or they missed the lethal. I think they missed lethal. They missed lethal. Okay, that's a 4-4. Four, four. They can't do much. So Zoff Consumption basically spends all my mana. I gain 4 life and they lose 4 life. So if I attack <coughs> with... I know this is risky, but they, they have nothing on their end, and they have 3 mana open, they are not able to kick this, so if I attack with all, what's the worst thing that I can, that can happen? So they can block like this and eat it, they can leave 5 mana go through, no, the, they won't leave it go through, so 3 mana will go through, I'll go to 9, they'll go to 6, uh, 5. 5 is still not enough. So now I'm out of range for from a, a bump uh, fearless fledgling. Um, I'll cast this later to win the game. Right now I want to cast a kick Gnarl Colony to block on the ground. And that's it. Yeah, my opponent I think he had lethal but uh, he punted the game. Let, let's try to, to take the opportunity. Okay. That goes to 5. You bump it. Six. You attack it with six in the air. Sure, opponent. I think you are dead now, thankfully. Okay, you have no way to block this. Now he's off for the win. Damn, I was sweating for a moment. I was sweating. I shouldn't have attacked that turn with the Ghastly, but luckily my opponent missed the lethal. So yeah, you need to take the opportunities that you have. <laughs> and that's how you do it. How you recover from a lost game. So, we broke the 50% win rate for this draft, which is already good. It's, it's already better than I was expecting. Um... Like, for today I was expecting something akin of um, 03, <laughs> 2 3 at most, and it's not the case. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. Let's get back to it. The magic gatherer. Well, let me just check. Probably I can change it during... In the middle of a stream. So, stream. No. Output. Okay. So, we have plenty of stuff to do. All three colors of mana, Ghastly Gloom Hunter that I can play early, another that I can play late. Life is good. Life is good. Okay. Swamp. Swamp, swamp. Now I have a mountain and I won't draw the Thundering Rebuke. That's how it typically goes. Hey, the Magic Gatherer. How are you? How are you doing today? You too, man. Or woman. Or they. I should... I this is a bad and habit that I have, that I... Yeah, yeah. That, that should be played like uh, whenever I get into a match or something, right? <laughs> Just funny. There's like... I added 25 sounds, I probably need to, to remove a few. Okay, sure. I need to pay one life. Thank you for the, the mana fixing opponent. <laughs> Thank you for the mana fixing. 
Um, come on. Uh, only bronze playing today? I, I need to rank up, I guess. Uh, but this is the the color that I'm splashing, at least. They they managed to eat that, but I don't think it's that good use of, uh, of that card. Either way, what will we do? I think we will mind drain them and try and try to to start reducing some value uh the value that they have <laughs> not that they should have much given that they're playing a lethal form blight but whatever Let's gain some life. <laughs> okay. Something that I was missing, Mitch, it was the, um, the alerts for Oast and Raid. Because at the time that I set up that, one, two, three, four, so nothing I can do right now. Uh, at the time that I set up that, I wasn't even sure of what Wraith or Oast were. Um, <laughs> so I've set up those today because last time you hosted and I and either PT raided my channel. So uh, I, yeah, having that available is definitely helpful. So I want my other Gloom Hunter, I want to have it kicked. Let's see if my opponent lets me. <laughs> so they dropped a nice creature against me, uh, but it would trade most likely, depending on what they had. And okay. Okay, pass. What's happening, opponent? Do you have a play for this turn? You have. Also not a very good card. No worries, you're probably still learning the format, that's fine. I hope that you I don't give you a slow and painful death. I'm trying to make it quick. My opponent lets me. Okay. I could have done that after combat, but they have nothing. Whatever. It's all the same. Do you know this video, Mitch? Do you know it? It's so good. I think it's one of those uh, talents uh, programs that uh, <laughs> that people uh, participate in, and it's just too good. I want to trade because I want to, to play another Null Colony, but if you don't know it, man, look it up. You just need to use the, the Titanic flute <laughs> to look it up and that's fine. Okay, I think this game will go pretty fast. <laughs> no man, no blocks. I have 21 life now after you attack, so I'm fine. <laughs> you probably should be the one on the defensive. Just saying. Uh, by the way, I, I didn't notice it. Oh, what? Uh, another crappy card? Oh, come on, opponent. Well, if you win with these crappy cards, I, I would really be surprised. So, <coughs> no need on showing them what we have. We can trade for one for their land with Oblivion's Hunger if they block one Gnarl Colony. Oh, it has reach. It has reach. Sure, whatever. I get them to three. That's fine. That gives reach to the land. The land has reach. Zendikar is really weird. They told me that lands behaved awkwardly in this plane, but not this much. Uh, sure. Do I have enough? I have enough. Okay. I counted it perfectly well. That's a nice follow-up.
<laughs> uh, sound alerts really are something. The first time that I had them set up, I wasn't really listening to them. So it was weird. Okay, all attack. Good game. <laughs> Good game, man. Take a look into some content online. That's how I learn. That's how I learn. <sighs> they were tapped out so Oblivion Sanger was was not necessary. <laughs> so let's still try to, to eat gold. <laughs> you're killing it today, Mitch, with the sound alerts. I I hope you're enjoying the the toy that I that I that I customized specifically for you, specifically for you. <coughs> Five wins with this deck? Come on! <laughs> no, to, today we're only like I think all the games that I won were against black green counters and it, it, it's just crazy it, i i'm i'm drafting black green counters my opponents are virtually all playing gr black green counters what the hell what the hell is happening today <coughs> well i'm i'm happy still i'm winning so sure it it should mean that i'm doing oh, something right me. Yeah, yeah, you're right. I don't, I don't need to be mad. Uh, I'm winning, and it's just a game. <laughs> that was timely. It was a nice way to put my, me back on my seat and with the mind in the game. Okay. Once again, way too many lands. Still, I might actually cast this ghastly gloom hunter since I can. Pass with fortification the following turn and have a 2 2 flyer that gained me some life. That guy cannot block. <coughs> oh, that's a tight race. That's a tight race that I don't really like. Um, so, still, I think I'll, I'll stick to the plan. Probably I will. Um, instead of Vastwood next turn, Settle Strike. I might also Vastwood and unkick the Null Priest because I'm far away from having enough lands for that. <coughs> but let us see. Sure, that's fine. That's fine. <laughs> okay. So, at least that will take them one turn off and I'll be able to pressure them during that turn yes I will <laughs> that's what I hope to say to my opponent at the end of this game <laughs> okay I won't attack of course my creature is is bound not to attack so I can actually just play this because in order to kick this, I need to spend four ma uh, six mana, and that's that's a lot. That's a lot. I have a dreadworm, and it, this puts a dreadworm on the battlefield. Damn, that's powerful. So a little change of plans right now. No, fast wood is also an instant. So next, and the turn. So I'll, I'll, I hope my opponent plays the land before combat. Um, exactly, that's how I like it, opponent. That's how I like it. Now I can kill it with Saddle Strike and they cannot have trigger landfall this turn. Huh. Way too easy, opponent. Pass to blockers. Sure, we want to do something, opponent. Thank you. Thank you, Mitch. Thank you. <laughs> you're once again you're too kind yeah I'm, I'm only playing against bronze opponents today since i don't spend that much time playing magic um i guess this is what happens um i can steal vastwood on on their turn do i prioritize that or 
having five men or enabling five mana for a dread war. Really not sure. Yeah, I, I will. Um, I won't trigger it now because I I don't have anything to do with my mana next turn, so no need to rush the decision. And now I have five lands, so no need to to cast Vastwood Fortification as a uh, as a land. I mean, so okay, we will play a land. We will have four mana available. Four mana doesn't do much given this board state. No Priest of Oblivion Just can be crazy. But Make your okay, 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 I'll do it, I'll do it, sure. I'll stop dwindling, dwindling or something. Sure, okay, whatever, attack. Now, now you got me scared, Mitch. Okay, whatever. It's still one damage. Um, yeah, sure. I want to get into the late game. So gaining some life is always good. Now they cast it. Fine. Hmm. That's a nice thundering rebuke target. <laughs> hmm. I'll have five mana the turn afterwards I can get a creature back to the battlefield. So I won't attack with Gloom Hunter right now. It it is holding off the, the, the Nighthawk Scavenger. And if I was the opponent, I would be attacking with it and not blocking the my my Gloom Hunter. Uh, I still hope to draw some kind of removal to take care of it. Um either way, the plan for this turn is just to at put the dreadworm on the battlefield, not attack, and ship the turn. That's the plan. Okay, that's a shade. Highborn Vampire. My opponent is amassing a, an interesting team on their end, I would say. They aren't doing much. So I have a way to protect my creatures. The thing is, I'm in no place to start attacking. Unfortunately. Wait. Before I do anything else, should I attack with both? I'm at 15. <coughs> so if they don't block, they take 8, they go to 11. It's a very comfy life total. So yeah, I don't care. It's, it's not worth it. Let's put another big creature on the battlefield. Yeah, it's a big dread worm. Jesus, this guy is big. It looks like a shady version of the of the Dragon Ball Dragon, I guess. Yeah, my. my <laughs> so you called? You called for the angriest cat ever? See, she's biting me. Damn. What are you doing, else? Do you think that I'll win this game? What do you think? And, uh, uh, you think I'll lose? Okay. Thank you very much. Thank you for trusting me, Elsa. That's very nice from you. Okay. What I could actually do, and I was probably missing that for a while, is attack with Gloom Hunter. If they block, I can Oblivion Zunger. Still, let's do this before anything else, but still I draw a card, that's positive, right? If they enable me to attack, they hit me for 4 in the air, for free, that's not positive for me. I cannot, I cannot trust that they will um, have something. Okay, you just draw that. That's that's a nice draw after you get uh, mind drained. That's a nice draw, opponent. I'm happy for you, Framlir. Okay, at least this deck is not a um, counters matters deck, I guess. 
Sure, I'm happy on stalling the game until I have ways to Thundering Rebuke. Um, your flyer. <laughs> I'll play patiently this game. Okay, sure. That is fine. I could have... Um, that's probably not a good use for that card. It really depends. Um, they can still kick the Gloom Hunter and that's bad for me. But they will likely attack with both once they do something like that, once they have both available. And I can kill the Nighthawk Scavenger, leaving my Gloom Hunter alive. Yep. Yep. Makes sense, opponent. Makes sense. I won't be attacking anytime soon, so I have plenty of time to, to draw as many lands that I want. So, who's... Um, is decking first? Probably this game won't go to that stage, but still. It's nice to dream from time to time. <coughs> I have one mana up. I was actually not, not considering it, but <laughs> thankfully I, I have one mana up. So no attacks, no attacks. Now the, the issue right now is that I have my shields down and they can attack with both. Yeah, yeah, indeed. I think this will be our last game, <laughs> it seems. Okay, so I'm, I'm less concerned about not having Oblivion's Hunger that turn. Now I have two of them. Great, just great. Hello darkness indeed. Five, eight. So now they can do some stuff. Let's attack with this. Whatever. My plan is just to Oblivion's Hunger. My, my creature. It will be indestructible. Whatever. But the, the thing is I want to draw a card. And... I guess... That's not really playable right now. No. So, another card. Double green or green whatever. <laughs> no, this is where I lose. <laughs> Scale the heights. Take that, opponent. Take that. Trample damage. Damn. He killed me with that glacial grasp. GG Yeah, that's that's my opponent. That's what's my op what's going on on my mind on the mind of my opponent. Okay, still how many did we did we have? 4 or 5 wins, let me check. Once Arena comes back to life. 5 wins, not that bad at all. <laughs> I'm already happy. Um, so, claim prize. The thing is, you need to celebrate the wins and understand that some lo understand your mistakes on the losses, but then, like, um, take what you can from the losses, what you can learn, but that's the only thing. That, I saw a quote one of these days, it, it went something like, um, uh, it's, it's from Gandhi, actually, if I recall correctly. Um, I, I never lose. I either win or learn something. So it's it's a, it's a good mindset to, to have in magic and in, and in life. Let's just open the packs that I have available. And call it a day after that. Soul Shatter, okay. That's a nice card to, to be picked during a draft. Not right now. Another Emiria Skull. So... I don't think... No, it doesn't work here. Okay, sure. Some more packs. Okay, mill, mill more card. And... Master of Wings. Actually, <clears throat> I did something in the past that I'm not doing right now, but it, it's actually um, a nice thing to do, uh, which is um, <clears throat> like review each rare that I open. Um, so, of course, this card is pretty bonkers on a, on a wizard's deck. The thing about it there, or the thing, the most relevant thing about, um, about the wizard's deck is that it has enablers like 
like crazy because it's not only the creature types that matter, not only the, the creatures that you put in there, and you have nice rogue, nice wizards to put in there. Um, of course, the there's some some huge and uh, some great ones at Uncommon, like the uh, I ju I just call that that rock slide sorcerer the machine gun, and of course you also have, uh, but the artifact doesn't count towards it, but still. If you're playing instants and sorceries, which your decks are all, always playing, so typically you have more enablers. So if you if you grab a bunch of payoffs, you, you're set. And of course, most payoffs also work as enablers. Besides the artifact, I think most of them work as enablers. So it's great. It's good swarm. I guess this guy doesn't need introduction. Typically, it should be played like. Um, on turn s uh, seven, typically, so that you place good swarm and then you you play a land and it triggers landfall. Uh, so at least when you have six lands and you have a seventh to play, that's the ideal scenario. Uh, because otherwise, it's it's easy to kill it, or typically it's easy to kill it in the early game because people are uh, people typically draw a removal spell and this is an easy target for it. Um, so, yeah. Coral Elm Chronicler. Chronicler? Sure. So, this works best on a kicker deck, of course, but on a wizard's deck, you typically also have a, a bunch of kicker cards. So, you, you end up having... Uh, so, uh, look at the top five cards. So, yeah. This is like a looter, uh, besides the the ETB ability, which is already very good. To, you, you're fetching for a kicker card, uh, which can be, if you if you manage to draw another rare kicker card, can be huge, but still, it's quite significant. Uh, but looting every time you cast a kicked spell, and because these cards, these decks will typically want also to play with, um, with the kicker draw cards spell, uh, which I'm forgetting the name uh, but which is a common so common yes so you will have cards in hand not not lands but uh, th this will help <coughs> help you uh, recycle your hand for sure Wait. Wrong window. So I was screwed by by my keyboard shortcuts uh, today, <laughs> but it is fine. So uh, I hope you enjoyed it. Actually, we we did pretty well uh, for the kind of deck for the sort of deck that I was playing. It was just a pile of medium to to garbage cards, <laughs> but um, but it it did some work. It was it was a weird. Um, a weird sequence of games, um, not really, not not really what what's typically to be expected from from a draft. But still, <clears throat> I guess not a lot of people are playing drafts right now since the the Magic stream is probably still going on. Um, either way, I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you learned something. Make sure to follow me uh, not only on on Twitch but elsewhere if you want to keep up with what I'm doing. If you want to discuss anything. As you probably notice, I like to discuss like Just life strategy and Make those kind of things. Yes, definitely. That that guy knows it. That guy knows it. So make sure to to show up next time. And for now, let's see who should we raid. It's always fun. So let me just check here for a bit. Something went wrong. Okay, Twitch, today you are really collaborating with me. Thank you. Not sure what's going on. Okay, let me... Damn. So, let's, let's try just again elsewhere and if it doesn't work um i'll post the the link for 
for the for the person that I would raid. <laughs> and please make sure to to join in. Indeed, indeed, it's really a shame. Twitch from time to time does like this this sort of uh, weird thing uh, things that they're like during the the um, the year uh, so the New Year's Eve. Uh, they were also having a lot of issues and a lot of people were streaming by then because they were not partying elsewhere so um, a lot of people used the opportunity to 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 get some viewership so let me check creators dashboard 